My name is Virginie Delworth. I'm working for the Corporate Social Responsibility Department at Johnson Johnson. I'm manager for the CSR, uh, for the CSR issues for the EMEA region and we are leading the Wellbeing Lab. My name is Turin van Eck. I'm the Medical Director for the EMEA region, Europe, Middle East and Africa. Uh, I'm responsible for the deployment of our employee health programs within the region. Uh, and I co-led the Wellbeing in the Workplace Laboratory with Virginie. Why we launched the Wellbeing project was, I think, key for us as a healthcare company. Wellbeing of our employee is very important and uh, we have identified internally uh, the importance of tackling the issue of well-being at the workplace. And that's the reason why we wanted to embark on that, because we believe it's a, um, a, an a more and more important issue for other companies. Some of the solutions that we've created um, were centered around the collection of best practices. So we developed um, as a deliverable uh, a guide uh, called Wellbeing in the Workplace Guide. The guide has a number of different sections in it um, comprising of the business case of well-being um, and then we've included a number of tips that companies can use to implement a well-being program in the workplace. And those tips were very much centered on our personal experience in the different organizations that we work in. And then the last and really the most important part uh, or section of the guide is um, the collection of the practices, the best practices itself. And those center around three different areas. Um, namely prevention of ill health, um, the identification and support of employees in a, in a situation of ill health and then the reintegration of employees uh, if they've been absent from the workplace back into the workplace. And then the last part of the guide is a collection of resources um, that can be made available to companies where they can get more information. I think it's useful for the other companies because they can internally benchmark their policies. They can see what other companies are doing in that area and they can see if they are um, in the right direction and I, we believe that they are because all the companies participating in the lab were quite active in that area of, of um, management. And uh, I think it's essential for them because they can pull out good practices, best practices from other companies and find solutions for problems they may have internally. So we strongly believe that that guide is an excellent resource and the lab is an excellent resource of good practices from uh, companies and that they can reuse the example of um, one company in their own so that it saves them time and they can also talk to the uh, their counterpart in the other company and share experiences so that they are not uh, they are not repeating the mistakes or they are taking on board the tips and recommendation from the other company to add to that, uh, I think what's very important about the laboratory is that it's a wide variety of organisations that's involved. So it's not just from one sector, but it's multi-sectorial. Um, and it's also companies that's involved over a wide geographical um, region. So we really got best practices from many different countries uh, showing how well-being can be implemented even uh, in areas or countries where it traditionally may have been more of a challenge. Um, so for that reason I think it's a, it's a very applicable and it's a very good guide as Virginia said that, and that can be used very wide. And we also believe that it can be used not just in the EU but that it has applicability uh, on a global basis because the issues that we all are dealing with are fairly similar. There's these fairly little differences between um, the different regions.